All right, Tim, so we get some questions from our listeners all the time, and here's an interesting one. We have a woman who wrote in and talked about this big, strong, overwhelming desire to be in a relationship, mm. to get married. Mm. And so much so that she finds that she's missing out on things because she's always obsessing about this need to be in a marriage or to be in a relationship. Yeah. She's losing out on a lot of different things. So there's some things that we want to talk about when it comes to how do you navigate this world, but yeah. uh, what's your thoughts? Well, we have a friend of ours, great woman, um, who's single, and we, were, we went over to dinner one time, and she had this great dinner, um, but we looked, and there were, were all this beautiful china that was wrapped up. And so I just asked her about it. I said, hey, excuse me, what, what's that? She goes, oh, I've been collecting all this china, but that's what I'm going to use for my wedding. And I just looked at her, and, and we were good enough friends, and I said, you know what, can I encourage you with one thing? I would use your china. I'd use it now. I, I wouldn't save it for a date that you don't even know is going to come. Uh, use it now. Have experiences now and don't always say, oh, I'm going to save that for when we get married. But that's a tough cycle to be in. Yeah, I think what happens is um, when we become so worried about something, we oftentimes find that that obsession or even that kind of compulsion takes over. Yeah. Right. And we begin to think, well, if I do it this way or if I hold on to this or if I worry or struggle about yeah. this, I think one of the things that a person can do in this situation is begin to realize that there are ways in which they can express, enjoy life and things happen that way. Things yeah. that we're not yeah. always aware yeah. of can happen. So there's a great passage in Isaiah that talks about, don't call to mind the former things or ponder the things of the past. Behold, mm. I will do something new. Even now it will spring forth. Will you not be aware of it? He talks about, remember that idea? That's I good. will even make rivers in the desert and roadways in the wilderness. So sometimes, I guess the question is, what are we aware of? What are we consumed with? What are we always thinking yeah. about? Yeah. And sometimes we miss what's going on right around us. We miss who God is, and therefore we can even miss some relationships that might be developing and growing because we're so consumed yeah. and worried about that. And I would say, do life. Do the yeah. things that you really like because you may meet a person in the context of doing something that you really enjoy, that you're passionate about, and that's the kind of person you do want to meet that shares those kind of experiences. I'm thinking of a C.S. Lewis quote that says, Lewis says, the present is quite workable. Mm -hmm. If we don't add to it the guilt of the past, and the anxiety of the future. So I would say to this friend and to this listener, boy, live the present. And while you're living the present, you're gonna meet some very interesting people and maybe one of them, Lord willing, could be your future spouse.